Shalom and greetings from Jerusalem Jane. Welcome to my home. Probably going to be the most um, personal video that I have ever recorded and I'm using a selfie stick so it might be a little bit shaky. In less than three weeks I will be moving out of this apartment so that I have called my home for literally five years. I have been standing here at my kitchen table making I don't even know how many videos I have recorded and live broadcast to the whole world. I was blessed to move into this apartment with an amazing landlord, a Christian scientist from Germany who had been praying saying, God, please send the right tenant to my house. I moved into this one small, small, small little apartment. You can see behind me, there's a couch. Uh, we have suitcases over here, there's a table, we have these big things for books and whatnot, there's a TV, uh, we have more suitcases over here, and that's it. Behind me here in the same room we have the kitchen. Um, my landlord furnished this apartment when I moved in. Then on the other side of this wall is a small bedroom which also is the bomb shelter and then there's a bathroom and out here we have a balcony. Little did we know when I moved in that quickly after this whole area would be surrounded by construction. Uh, day and night they are working day and night construction building the new gateway, gateway into Jerusalem. It's a massive amount of noise and dust and construction. Uh, you barely sleep during the night and so much noise and cleaning all the time. When they get finished, it's going to be marvelous. So after five years where I have been blessed to live in this apartment with a landlord who said, you know, Jane, I know who you are. Thank you for what you're doing for Israel. He gave me the courtesy of being able to pay my rent later in the month because you know I'm only living by donations. I do not have a salary going into my account every month so I literally I cannot commit to paying rent the first every month but a little bit later he has been so gracious. So I have been very very blessed to be in this apartment but as you can see the suitcases are packed. Many many tears has been cried on this couch. Uh, First I broke a toe, then I broke my ankle, I was in a wheelchair, I was on crutches. I used to sit right here on this kitchen table, right here with Ari Fold when we were making videos, uh, reaching the whole world, sharing news out of Israel, until I had to report that Ari was murdered in a terror attack, again crying a massive amount of tears on this couch and also in my bed. So I have been going through many, many things living in this apartment, crying many, many tears. And then God gave me this, good things are coming. So when I am moving now, this is not just about moving out of an apartment. This is about me closing the doors to all the trauma, the tears, the broken feet, um, wheelchairs, crutches. Uh, through all of this, with not being able to move, I just kept gaining weight and now I need to lose weight. Which of course is not helping in anything. At the same time, I have had all the threats to my life. I made the mistake of making videos out from my streets when it was raining and when it was snowing. And immediately I received comments saying, naming the streets where I was living. So there's so much more to it than just me looking for apartments. I need to find the apartments. I need to find the place where I will feel safe, secure, uh, having a landlord understanding who I am, what I'm doing for Israel, only living by donations, um, maybe giving me special circumstances. And uh, we are living in extreme times. We are living in very, very hectic times. Things are only going to get worse entering the new year. We know what Iran is planning, Hamas, Hezbollah, weapon deliveries. Uh, it's just a matter of time before we have this next big escalation. So I need again to move into a home where I will feel safe. 
where I will also turn it into a TV studio. Uh, when we had the last bit of war with Gaza, I was sitting here at this kitchen table reporting with the TV in the background, uh, reaching 1.3 million people in one week. So like I said, this is Jerusalem Jane saying goodbye to five years in this apartment with all the noise, the dust, no sleep, no peace, uh, with all the tears and the trauma, but still being blessed because I was in this fully furnished apartment. My landlord brought all of this in. So January 1st, or well actually December 31st, I am walking out this door. Do you have a lead on a new apartment for Jerusalem Jane? where I can feel safe, where I have fully furnished with everything that I need, where I can continue to be your eyes and your ears, girly boots on the ground, speaking up for Israel for such a time as this. Now you can hear the police are passing by my house. Things are only going to intensify. I would love to be your eyes and ears on the ground, but I need a new home. For a woman who is a foreigner, I'm still a foreigner in this country, even though my heart and soul is intertwined with the Jewish people. Um, I'm still single. Getting a new home is the most important thing in my life, a place where I feel safe, where I feel secure, where I can invite my mom to come and visit when things get more normal in the new year. Do you have a lead on an apartment that will answer all of these descriptions with a good landlord who would, would be a blessing to me and the work that I'm trying to do for Israel every day uh, with a rent that is not sky high which I cannot pay and agents fees and all of these things um, I believe God has chosen it I believe he has picked out because he alone knows what's coming to Israel and what is coming into my life. So God bless you everybody. If you can help into this situation, I would be so very, very grateful. And I, again, I want to say I know there are so many empty apartments in Jerusalem from people living abroad. So many empty, beautiful apartments. I would take such good care of your apartment if you would host me and I can make my broadcast out of your home and I can be in a place that's secure when I'm going to start reporting again out of Israel. So God bless you so much. Thank you for each and every one of you who have stood with me for the five years that I have been in this apartment. I will not have made it without all of you and that's the truth. So Jerusalem Jane here in my apartment for five years i was here and now i need to find that new and safe home whatever you can do big or small or if you have the keys to my new home please please connect with me i need to find it as soon as possible bye